Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Canadian Maker Project. My name is Ron. Once again, I want to thank you all for watching, and the channel is growing great. So let's get back to basics here. And my love hate with Octoprint. Now, as you know, my Wednesday night, my Wednesday stream, I was using Octoprint to print out one of the uh, items for a episode of the Canadian Maker Project where I was talking about a new filament. And what happens? Octoprint just went. It just stopped in the middle of a print, let the heaters on, left everything on. And this has been an issue I've had with the with Octoprint uh, for a long period of time. Now, someone pointed out to me that Octoprint finally released a new version that should work for me. So if I minimize this screen here and we go into Octoprint, we're at octoprint.org. I go to Downloads. And in there, I found out there was Octoprint uh, 1.7. Now, from what I know, I have 1.6 or 1.5 I had. It's one of those two numbers. I know that much. But I decided to re-download this again, give it another shot. Well, when I installed it, I noticed my cameras weren't right. Like, they were blurry. They weren't giving me a good picture. Now, I have the... Logitech two C two seventy, and someone said, "Is that a licensed camera that uh, Octoprint knows?" I said, "Yeah, they used to have it in their listing, and it worked great back in the old version." Now, what I didn't know is that I thought all webcam cameras only put out VGA. Well, apparently that's not true. Apparently, you can set it up for your own camera. So if you're running Octoprint, you're going, oh. I can run it for my own camera. That's kind of nice. Now, looking at a couple of videos, a lot of people are talking about, oh, you just go into the putty and you do it that way. Well, I might have found an easier way. So when you finally format your card and everything else and you get all your, you get Octoprint installed and you're ready to go and you're typing in, you know, your username, password, that type of stuff for your setup. So... You know how you would go into a config file and you would just type in all the information? Well, there's a way to do that in here. So, going back to the way We want to go to the wiki. So go to more, hit on the wiki page. When you're in the wiki, what you want to do is go here and just type in webcam. Webcam's known to work. Now, these are all the webcams that they've ever tested in Octoprint that work. And I'm actually surprised that Microsoft webcams are still listed in here. But let's go find my camera. We got the 270 Logitech. So it's been tested by a few people, and they said they had luck with it. Now, right here is something interesting that I want you to keep pay attention to. The area I just highlighted. Those are values for that camera. So keep that in mind. We're going to go back to, we're going to open up my version of Octoprint. Now, I've already changed the information, but here it is on, um, on our, uh, this is uh, Notepad++. Now, note, they recommend Notepad++ for doing editing, and we're only going to be concentrating from line 18, sorry, line 7 to line 24. This is the area that we want to concentrate on. To get your camera working. The other stuff, if you have a Raspberry Pi camera and everything else, then you have to go through a little bit more information. I don't own a Raspberry Pi camera, so there's no way for me to test the theories of what you have to program in to make that work. So I do apologize. I won't be able to do that. But let me minimize my window a little bit more because it's cutting off some of the information. There we go. So at the top part here, configuring which camera to use. Actually, you know what? Let me move me over here, and we'll just make myself bigger. Okay. So first part, configuring which camera to use. And you'll go in here, and you'll see that they're all with, um, have them all with pound signs. When you're going in here first, edit each one separately. I tried to do both of them, and... I just had nothing but headaches, and then I had to go in and set each one separately, and then it worked. Keynote. So, but if you know what you're doing, this will work in one shot. I've done it already now in one shot, and it seems to work great. 
So the first thing is you want to take out camera. So camera, you want to make sure that's set for auto. I had issues just setting it for USB. Uh, it kind of went wonky. Now, if you're using a Raspberry Pi camera, then you want to type in the RASP. R-A-S-P-I. But for this, we're just going to leave it at auto. In camera, USB option. This used to say R640 by 480 space minus S space 10. What it says here. This is the default. What you should do, take that out after this part here. Go to your uh, GitHub or the Octoprint wiki as a setup. Copy whichever one is there. Now, if you have like three, pick one of these two. If you only have one, just copy the full line and just put it in there and it should work completely. I went with the uh, 1280 by 420F with 30 frames. Once I put that in there, uh, let's show you here. Bring that back up. Thank you. I accidentally hit the wrong button. So I put that in, and then I took out the uh, the pound sign. And it worked perfectly. And we're going to go to that camera right now, and I'll show you what it looks like. And uh, so let's get the Raspberry Pi fired up. I'm going to take the card out of my computer, and I'm going to put it into the printer, and we'll get the printer going. And then you guys can see what it looks like. Let's go do it. And we're back. So we're going to go back to Octoprint here. So I'm just going to pull down my screen here. Oh, there I am. So I'm down at the bottom. Okay. So as you can see, we have it all set up. So I'm just going to go to my controls here. Something you want to do is go into your panel here. Go to webcams and time lapse. Make sure you turn this 16 by 9, not 4 by 3. If you got 4 by 3, I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. You got white on bottom and top. If you don't like that look, we need to go back into your terminal. Go back down to your webcam time lapse and just set it by 16 by 9. Save. And it looks great. Some of you might have a flipped version. Like I said, just go back in here. Go into your Octoprint web to cam time lapse that you can flip vertically you can flip the webcam vertically you can rotate the webcam 90 degrees counterclockwise whatever you need to do you can set it up in there and also what i love about this is that this right here if you type in your address and then you add this code at the end it will give you a web page with just the video of your webcam so if you do like streaming or anything like that and you want to stream it like on YouTube or something like that, you can easily use that stream URL to get it streamed right to your screen. But we're not going to do that. So I'm going to connect to it just to show you that I that is connected. So I'm going to move this to the left. I can move it down. Oh, that's right. It won't come down because it's not home yet. But I can move it. I can move the bed left and right. I can move the Z. Up. I can bring it down. Now, here's your values of what you want. So you can move it by 0 0.01, by 1, by 10, by 100. Very handy if you're doing certain types of prints. And you have all your controls here, you know, motors off, fans on, fans off. So you have all your controls here that you would need for your printer. And temperature, temperature control is still the same. So it's easy enough to set up and get something printed. Now, here I was doing a print uh, just earlier today, testing it, and it worked out okay. I still have the monkey around for a print that I'm working on. But all in all, it works great. So... I've had no issues so far with number seven with 17 and I'm hoping I don't have any of those weird prints where it's like seven hours and all of a sudden the printer just goes 
and just holds there. Does not do anything. Just the heater's on. The all the heaters are running, but nothing's happening, which I've had happen before in a Melville print. And I'm hoping that this version doesn't do that. Something else that I meant to show you guys, and I do apologize. Let's go back into Octoprint here. If you're like me, you like doing prints, but you don't want anybody knowing that you're using Octoprint. Just go into your handle here. Go down to Octoprint time lapse area. Enable Octoprint mark on all your movies. You can turn that off, and then no one knows you used Octoprint to do your time lapse. So, something you might want to do for your Octoprint. Now, I know that some of you guys have. Uh, now, if you're not following uh, Chris Riley at Chris's Basement, please do, because he did a very good episode of setting up multiple webcams if you want to do that. He also uh, talked a bit, little bit more about uh, using Kipper as an option inside your Octoprint, which is not a bad idea. I mean, we are running on um, Raspberry Pis up to four cores, so why not make use of all those four cores? But anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you know, thumbs up helps a lot. It helps uh, bring viewers into the channel to see what we're talking about. And also what it does, it actually helps the channel grow. So if you can hit that thumbs up, that would be great. And if you like the content that we are providing and you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications when we go live. Like on Wednesday when we do our Wednesday live streams. So I want to thank everyone so much for watching. Uh, hopefully this has been informative to you. Hopefully you haven't had a problem with Raspberry with the Octoprint. I'd like to hear from you guys if you had any issues with the print beforehand. If you still experience problems with it. But also remember to always, and I do mean this always, with any type, whenever you get a Raspberry Pi and you install Octoprint, make sure you remember to run an update. Just to make sure you got the latest version of Octoprint in there. It'll also update any drivers that are out of date for the Raspberry Pi. And, you know, you can do that through... Um, now, if that's a video you guys want to see me do, where I take, where I inst where I go for the full installation of redoing my Raspberry Pi software and how I go into it with Putty and do all the changes, if that's a video you want to see, let me know. Comment down below. I do read comments and I do talk to everyone I talk to. And I always appreciate those contents, those comments because those contents help me know what you guys want to see. Well, till the next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a great day. And remember, have fun printing.